in this video i am going to show you how to check the output voltage of active low pass filter and how to show the frequency response of the active low pass filter using lm741 uh, please subscribe my channel for getting latest update and press the bell icon first i am going to teach you uh, how to check voltage at the output of the low pass filter first connect the uh, oscilloscope at the output of this circuit here you can go and select uh, oscilloscope and place here and uh, connect the input of this circuit to channel 1 and connect the output of this circuit to the channel B and then run this circuit here you can see uh, here you can see uh, output voltage of this graph here you can change the setting of oscilloscope here you can see from here you can calculate the output voltage of active low pass filter here you can set the position of the signal and you can see here is uh, 20 millivolt follow my cursor here you can see uh, here is 20 volt 20 volt and uh, you calculate this box 1 and approximately 2 2 multiply with 20 milli and you can get 40 milli volt at the output of this circuit and secondly I am going to show you how to check the frequency response of the active low pass filter. Delete, uh, delete the uh, oscilloscope from here and connect the voltage prop at the output of the circuit and then go to the graphs you follow my cursor here you can see the graph logo and then select the frequency here you can select the fre uh, frequency here you draw the box of frequency drag the voltage prop to the frequency response graph and then drag the input of this circuit after this uh, you when you press the space button here you can see the graph of the active low pass filter You can also change the setting of this graph 
as you desire of uh, blocking the frequency double click the graph and select uh, select the range from here for example i select 100 uh, start frequency and uh, 10 10 k is stop frequency and then click on ok and uh, then press the enter button here you can see uh, it starts from uh, 100 hertz to 10k as I select the desired value of frequency. Thank you for watching this video and never forget to subscribe my channel.